Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome back to Polybridge 3. And I'm actually scared to play this game. <laughs> We've got to the very last level, the secret world, the Forgotten Realm. We're currently halfway through. We're actually over halfway through. We're on to level 8 cat flaps. So what have we got here? We've got two forklift trucks. They've got to get over to the other sides. I assume, I was going to say, I assume they both go at the same time, but no, the red one goes first and then the blue one. Ah, but we've got no hydraulics. So we've got to try and get these guys to be able to cross over each other. And I guess that's why the map is called cat flaps, because we're going to have to utilize cat flaps in order to do this. Right, let's turn the grid on to start with. I think if we just do that sort of thing. So that's how the blue one's going to get across, but we've got to get a up and over. So what I'm thinking, if we go up to like, I don't know, somewhere up here, I don't know how, I don't know how steep of a hill this thing can drive up. So let's just have a look. If we do that, it can drive. I mean, it, it broke, but it can drive up that no problems. So could we go to like that node? That would be useful. Yeah, man. Oh, these forklift trucks have some torque. So yeah, if we go to that source of node, we can then get rid of that. And then essentially, if we do a muscle there to hold this up, we can then make that side a little bridge like that. And then over here, if we do that as a separate truss, and then do a little rope like up to there and then another one to the other side just to hold this in place this on the right should act like a cat flap so as this guy drives up that should <laughs> assuming the bridge underneath doesn't fail let's just steal this thing up a bit oh wow this is this is breaking big time i mean maybe if i support it from like higher up like that and that i had no idea it'd put that much pressure on the thing below. Look, it still snapped that. But yeah, looks like this cat flap isn't actually long enough. Yeah, we're struggling to actually open the flap, but... <laughs> <laughs> but you can sort of see how it's going to work. This bridge will be flat enough so that the the blue forklift can drive over it. But when it gets pushed from underneath, it allows the red one to flap up. Okay, so from this point then, I mean, I guess we should form this straight over bit as part of the underbridge. And I mean, that should help everything become a bit stronger as well. So if we just truss over the top like that, I've just put a bit of a kink on there just to sort of help this open open up so there's like less of an angle of there which means yes we are through and then okay <laughs> and then we're nearly there this side of the bridge didn't hold though but i guess we can just put a bit of steel in there i mean we may need under supports over this side as well so these just sort of reduce the the stress on the top because it shortens the span so if we do that sort of thing we've got our steel sort of arch thing in there that's where all the pressure goes so yeah we end up over here but obviously our flag is up in the air so we've got to try and add a ramp over this side which is also going to be a cat flap for the blue so if we go down to like there-ish we can hopefully then just shove some nodes underneath like that maybe i can put those ones on top it just depends what happens here so very steep slope so can this thing actually get up there because it is a forklift so or oh, it's doing it no <laughs> Oh no, <laughs> it flung the box and completely destroyed itself. Right, what if I put like a bit of a kink at the bottom? Is that better? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, then does that work as a cat flap? Oh, sort of, but not really enough. <laughs> So what I could do, I could add a bit more wood just to stop this thing bending in the middle. Now the trouble with doing that, it means, yeah, when that hits it, it's, yeah, it doesn't have the movement to take the impact. So maybe actually just putting a spring in there is the best of both worlds. It should mean it can absorb the impact of this driving up. Yes, it has. And then hopefully it keeps it together so that we can take our blue forklift all the way through. Yes, although we did a wheelie and then ended up slamming into the middle of the span, which you don't want to do. So is this just going to be a sort of tweak it and see one out? Right, what if I add another spring? Bring. It might just make this, like, I just need it to be not as stuck to the blue forklift. Oh, it's so sticky. <laughs> Ow. I wonder, can I, I don't know, can I move this over a little bit? There must be a way to get this. Yes, 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 yes. 
Oh, it destroyed itself. But that worked. Oh, that did not work at all. Okay, so although this did get through, it did destroy itself. I mean, hopefully I can just like make some of these a bit bigger. Like if I then make this more of an equal actual triangle, that should that should make this bit of road stronger. Anyway, we need to work out how to get the blue one across this gap now. Maybe it's just reducing the size of that gap. So I'll try. Oh no, can I move? Okay, I can move that to the left. So I can move that to the left. Cat flap still works that way around. That way still breaks. Oh, it did get over. Okay, so what we've got to do now is stop this from breaking. So why do you... Oh, let's see. Why do you break? Maybe you just keep raising that up a little bit. All right, yes. Okay, that worked. Does this side still work? So just get over the gap. Yes. Okay, we did it. 43,578. That puts us... Oh, 280th. Top 16%. That ain't bad. I mean, we beat Tyler, but we always beat Tyler. Who's the top score? Oh, someone's saying hi to me. Under 15 grand. <laughs> 15. Anyway, let's watch this with the stress on and try and work out any places where we could make this cheaper. So if it stays green, we can probably either if it is steel, swap it to wood or just like make triangles smaller, etc. Yeah, I reckon we can probably lose quite a lot of the steel. Over there goes quite orange. But uh, one thing I can definitely do is make that muscle thinner. Probably move that down, move that down. And I wonder, can I swap cable with rope? like under there. I mean, I could swap it with wood potentially. So we'll just see how that affects things going this way. Yes, this slam down. Yeah. Oh dear. So that made that muscle break. Now we didn't actually change that one. So I wonder if I just make this a bit wider. There you go. That worked that time. But for whatever reason, it made that break and then it makes the entire thing break. I think it was actually over here that did it. But yeah, I think any little tweaks over here sort of affects... <laughs> it affects quite a lot because basically any tweaks that make this sort of come out slower or anything, then... Oh man, it's just butterfly effect central. But the speed at which that comes out affects like how fast it hits this, which means when the blue one comes out, this is in a slightly different position. So yeah, it's going to be very hard to actually do anything here without the butterfly effect just ruining everything. So maybe I can't get it cheaper. Like all I did there, I removed one rope and that's what happened. Look, if I put the rope back in, that's the only difference we had. So I can't get rid of that rope. Okay, what if we try replacing all of these steels with wood? They look a bit yellow already. So as this comes up, no. I think this is just one of those finicky levels where you're not really going to be able to save any money unless you have the patience of a saint. And I don't. I've got a gallery to look through. So let's sort by the lowest budget. So, oh, look, the cheapest one, 69.69. Nice. But oh my goodness. <laughs> I think some glitches were going on with that replay. First legitimate solution. Oh, is it legitimate? It's a dangly road. So yeah, dangly roads are still a thing, but they allow for a very cheap bridge. Oh, and a very, very cheap cat flap there. Did you see it also knocked the crate off as well? Meaning the forklift is lighter. Interesting. Now, it's also quite interesting. The bridge goes like down. So the bridge is from that point to that point. Mine went straight across, remember? So, oh yeah, it looks like everyone did that. So do your bridge actually from like the two closest points and then flaps on the sides. Uh, oh, by the way, look, Alan with a proper solution, just a rope tension bridge, but still the same... <laughs> What is that truck doing? The same solution in terms of doing it from bottom to bottom. So good work, Alan. Nice to see you. <gasps> it's Nifty as well. <laughs> but this isn't the Nifty sponsored solution. <laughs> Man, who'd have thought Alan and Nifty would have solutions next to each other? Like, actually high up the leaderboard. Oh, look at this one. Someone did a nice arch. This is 24 grand, by the way. So cheap. Fair play. You don't actually see many, like, arches. Like, arch road and then an arch truss underneath as well. Decent. Nice work. Dynamic. Anyway, now we know the cheapest way of doing this. Let's see what the most expensive people did. So, we've got a road, same as the cheapest ones, from down there up to there. How does this top bit work, though? So, the blue... Oh, it flips it. Oh, it flips it down that way. Whoa. <laughs> so it's like an inverse cat flap. Like a cat plank, if you like. I don't know. By the way, it looks like water-powered RC propaganda there. Like, whatever this is, it's sucking up water so that RC propaganda can be displayed. Anyway, we've then got... It's the Nifty Sponsored Solution. Nifty, for when you forget to do RC propaganda and you write dangly instead. Warning, Nifty may cause verbal diarrhea if consumed daily. Right, we've... <laughs> 
<laughs> We've then got Paolo's. And they've got like a massive cannon on top. It's got a cannonball ready to go. You can see a bit of an explosion at the end of like the fireball coming out the end of the cannon. Not sure why you'd add a cannon. Hi, that man. He said hi, RCE. So this one has a crisscross cat flap in the middle. Nice. Schnezen. What is going on there? I mean, same sort of crisscross thing, but it's over on the left. There's a lot of steel on this and a lot of like cable and rope. Also, why... Why? What's going on there? Hang on, start that again. He's actually added to the to, to like the supply these are carrying. So can you see the forklift? It actually has some road on the front. Is that to give a slope so it can like get through cat flaps easier? And then maybe the same with this red one, just to allow the bridge to open easier. Interesting. Anyway, Genji Pike. Oh, 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 oh! Go on, go on. <laughs> The bridge looks so rigid, but like there's so much movement when when pushed from underneath because of all these cables on top. All right, of course we've got Alan's solution. <laughs> Loads of missiles firing like every direction, and there's just like huge rocket plumes behind them, like smoke and flames. All right, this one. Oh my god, have you got enough springs under there, mate? <laughs> Well, that's quite a cool idea, though. Watch that again. So as the red forklift drives up this one, it acts as a counterbalance. So you, the cat flap is like lifted up. The blue doesn't need to push it. Interesting. All right, what? Did that say Y only? So all of these are just Ys. So rather than like actual like trusses, like triangles stuck together, can you see every single piece is like a Y? So let's watch that again. That's quite impressive, I'm not going to lie. Well done, face boy. You can see, though, they did have to reinforce all the roads with steel, like, on top of it. I think that's because because you don't have the truss on top. Oh, actually, did you see all the road, like, fall into place? So, look, the road all starts up and then falls down. So, yeah, the road's actually hanging from these triangles, like, with rope. If you just look there. Whoa. That's cool. All right, we've then got, oh my goodness, look at the amount of rope and stuff there. They also had to use a foundation to get this to work, so very expensive. Yeah, this one by wind. Man, huge cat flaps. <laughs> Did you see that? And like two foundations underneath as well. They're such big cat flaps. Fair play. Right, we move on to the next level, ramping up. Oh no, it's a hydraulic level. It's a hydraulic level. We've got rocks underneath with nodes on, so that's good, I guess. It looks like we've got to get this buggy across over to here. That is a turnaround checkpoint. So as soon as it passes through, it'll turn around and then drive back. And it's got to get up to the flag over the other side. So start from down there, end up on the right, and then end up on the top left. But we've only got seven pieces of road. So question is, if we just press play, what happens? So you go and you end up down there. So I wonder, can we get up to there like easily the thing is because what i was thinking if we just if we just slow it right down i was thinking let's just hit pause i was thinking i could get away with building something down there that would be cheaper a little u-shaped thing so it might be able to jump up to there assuming it does though we've then got to get back up there so we'd have to lift up this entire thing probably so it's way higher hmm i'm not sure how this will work i mean i guess let's just try see what happens if i do hydraulic to there i'll probably need like that sort of thing i mean i've got one bit of road remaining so maybe this could work now, i don't know whether i'll need like springs for this i'll try and do it in just wood for now down here probably need some steel now if i want this to not rotate i'm gonna need another bit of steel Deal. So something like that. That should stop everything rotating, right? So yeah, let's just see where it lands. Oh, that was that wasn't bad. That actually wasn't bad. I mean, let's try and keep this in wood. I mean, I'll probably need steel. Could I make it smoother? I probably could make the left smoother. If I just raise that up a little bit. Let's just see how it lands. Oh, it's so smooth. It's so smooth. But then these are a little bit lumpy. I mean, I'm probably gonna need I'm probably gonna need steel up there. So I'll put steel in as well. But that. Oh, it's not bad. It doesn't quite get to the top, but maybe I can tweak. Yeah, it doesn't It doesn't go high enough. Maybe I can add that last bit of road just like up to there. So is that any better? Okay, we made it to that point. So then that hydraulic goes. Probably not high enough. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so when it jumps back, this lands like directly in the middle. So I probably need a hydraulic on this side. Yeah, I basically need to lift like this up to like there. So what if we get rid of the steel from there? What if we do this like out of wood? And then perhaps like these two under here could be hydraulic. Now I may need to replace those with steel. No, they're okay. But yeah, that lifts everything up. All right, I'm totally fluking this by the way. So let's, <laughs> let's see. Oh, it looks so good. That looks so good. 
that actually wasn't bad. You cannot say that wasn't bad. All right, okay, let's put a bit of steel in there. So we'll try again. Oh my goodness, it's actually, it's actually quite good. <laughs> I can't believe this is working. This is so fluky. But yeah, I guess we just got to get it so it doesn't break and then see like where we end up. I can't see us getting high enough. I'll probably have to lift the left side up a bit. Oh my goodness, it made it up almost. I think I just need a bit more steel just to reinforce. I mean, I could probably tweak these hydraulics just to get the landing a bit smoother. I sort of just want to get it to a point where it doesn't break just so I can see exactly where we're, we're ending up. All right, okay, so this doesn't break now. So it ends up quite low. So I guess my only option here is to swap that with like a, a hydraulic muscle because that's, yeah, that's the full length hydraulic we can go. So yeah, we definitely need hydraulic muscle. So this will allow me just to go a bit higher without having to like move this node because this node is in the perfect spot so that should allow the left side to go slightly higher than previous which might mess up the right but no okay that's good so if i want to push this higher again we just bring out these to the side because that makes these hydraulics longer and these extend by 50 percent so by making that middle bit wider this has gone higher which means we're getting a little bit closer maybe not as close as i'd like to be but we'll try that sort of width is that any better I mean, it looks, it looks good. Oh, close. It is close. All right, so we go a bit further again. Oh, man, that is quite tall now. Is it good? Yes, front flip for the win. Okay, we did it for under 27 grand. We're in the top 11%. Oh, we smashed Tyler. We are 183rd in the world. I reckon we can make this cheaper. Now, I think if I were to replace this with rope, that should still hold itself because it's always going to be in tension. It's just as it goes taller, does it stay in tension? Yeah, it does. So that should be a lot cheaper. Nice. I am just wondering though, could I make this right side? Could I make it a lot smoother? so I can hopefully get rid of some of the steel. So if we slow this, we can see, yeah, that side. Look how high we are. Like, we're landing bang in the middle. We want to land back here. So it might be worth sort of extending these hydraulics a bit just so that this right side is higher up, which hopefully catches catches the car higher, which, yeah, makes it a lot smoother. So I'm going to do that again. And we just want this side to land on the top nice and smooth. Like, we can go... We probably should go higher there. All right, so after a bit of tweaking, this is what I've come up with. I've just added, like, loads of muscles to replace the steel. And you can see it's super smooth. Oh, yes. <laughs> Backflip for style points at the end. I couldn't get under 25 grand, but I'm in the top 8%. I'll take that. Although the high RCE guy did it for 13 grand again. This person is amazing. And I'm not just saying that because they're saying high RCE all the time. So let's have a look at the cheapest solution here. Matthew is a noob. Oh, it is basically what I did. Oh my goodness. So, oh, they don't have hydraulics on the right? Yeah, so here's another very similar solution. So yeah, no hydraulics on the right, just one on the left as well. So there's me using that massive hydraulic muscle. I could have got away with just one hydraulic, apparently. Yeah, this one's pretty similar. Oh, look at that, though. Can you see the ramp at the end? There's a little hydraulic in there that just extends the ramp. Nice! Okay, that was actually quite cool. But yeah, it seems like all the cheapest solutions did same sort of layout. Fair play, everyone. All right, let's have a look at the highest budget. Look at that face. His nose extends. It's like Pinocchio. Uh, loving the RCE propaganda, by the way. Very nice font. All right, then got that, man. Oh, it's high RCE. Is that in the background? Why is it so dark? Yeah, it's, it's the opposite. We're looking like from, from the beyond. So if you look, the car jumps from the right to the left. So this is actually from the background. So oh, I love that Paddy's like getting a stroke there. Look at his tail. He loves it. He loves it. Anyway, the, oh my goodness. <laughs> that might be too far. <laughs> Now, this person has not opted for RCE propaganda. Instead, they've said Ace. All right, Avocado. Oh my God, it's another sex muscle. Look at that. Six different muscular segments holding that up there. All right, we've then got this one. What is going on there? Oh, it's the Nifty Sponsor Solution. Oh my goodness. What is that on the right? Is all of that... Oh yeah, it is needed. It locks into those. So yeah, if you look, we do like a jump onto a jump. And then same coming back. A jump onto a jump? Or is there a road in the middle? There may be road under that steel there, actually. Yeah, there is. But very unique way of doing that that level. Fair play. All right, we've then, oh, we've then got Alan's solution. Of course we do. <laughs> 
An extended cannon on the top. We've then got, oh, nice RC propaganda. Very large. Oh, and look, the roads are on the edge. So it does a huge jump onto the road. Oh my goodness, fair play. Let's watch that again. So like the ramps are on the outside, not in the middle. So then that lifts up, that lifts up that side as well. Oh, that's a really cool way of solving this. Very different, which we like to see. Right on this one. Oh, it's a gappy bridge. So the seven pieces have been spread out. <laughs> So like the, it's like skimming, skimming a stone on water, but you're skimming a car across road. But yeah, we go to the next level. It's called Underdump. Oh dear, I see a dump truck there. So it looks like this has got to get to the middle and then it stops. So then there's a hydraulic phase and then this thing goes, the monster flipper. So that's got to get under the dump truck down to this star and then back up the other side and then the dump truck can go from the middle again to the flags on the right. Oh boy, this could take some thinking. Right, I think first things first, we got to put the dump truck bridge in. So that goes across there. 30 meters. We can fill that with road. Boosh. And then we've just got to support that somehow. Now, the thing is, we need it to hold itself in the middle while we, I don't know, probably make holes or like cat flap. Well, not cat flaps, hydraulic flaps either side. I have a feeling we may need a foundation like in the middle. But uh, I guess for now, let's just try and get this to work. I mean, I will put that underneath. Let's put the foundation there. I'm just going to copy this all the way across. All right, so let's just see hopefully that holds i mean it should hold let's just see where this jumps to so slow it rip right down so it goes down there oh man it's gonna like hit the back of it oh no <laughs> that's not ideal okay so what i'm thinking now then the road may need to go like up to there so if this was higher maybe we could still fit underneath so let's go back to the line tool and then we'll do like a curve like i mean the higher we can go the better really so if we go like and quickly just trust this up so now all i need to do is from this point get a road going up and oh yeah i'm gonna need like some sort of hydraulic thing to move to like move the road out of the way i mean it probably will be just something like that so i got a joint there with the hydraulics i put some steel just to do that so yeah we're sort of making a cat flap so next question is where does my road need to be can it be literally off that foundation or does it need to be high no look it needs to be quite high actually uh, remember i can i can lower this foundation which does reduce the cost quite a lot just make that form part of this i don't know we'll see but that's detail for now we've then we've got to try and get this up and don't that's what she said there editor i know what you like i know what you like but yeah if that goes to there potentially that could work i'm not i'm not entirely confident <laughs> i think i'm just gonna steal all of this up to be fair i'm just trying to get these steel bits sort of facing the force so as this lands on it the yeah the steel isn't getting bent as much i mean it's still breaking what if i add another piece there would that help like if we slow this down nothing's broken yet it's when it comes around here oh no it hasn't broken oh it hasn't broken it turns speed up oh it might have worked it might have worked that tiny bit of steel saved us i think we've done it oh look in the back of the dump truck there's like bricks and stuff we did it! 102 grand. Oh, we're in the top 23%. Not great. I assume Tyler B. Oh, I did it for 78 grand. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, question is can I make this a lot cheaper? Um, I'm going to have a little bit of a fiddle. And for you guys, it's engineering time. Remember, check out these on Spotify. Now that's what I call engineering a 51 track soundtrack. But yeah, I'll see you guys on the other side. Ah, look at all the lovely bridges. <laughs> Ah, look at all the lovely bridges. Matt and Paddy designs the bridges that need to be built in the game. Poly Bridge 3, avoiding hydraulics, building the cheapest of bridges that can barely stand. Help is at hand, all the lovely bridges are in the gallery all the lovely bridges propaganda rce
Right, so this is what I've come up with. You can see we've got wood and rope up there. We've pretty much got wood everywhere. We do have a few little bits of steel. I managed to replace some with road like down there. Most of them have been replaced with muscle. I'm actually wondering, is there a way to get these closer together? No, there's not because that nose in the way. Maybe I can replace that with a muscle as well. So that's a little bit cheaper. But yeah, if we look at the stress, you can see most things go pretty red. Oh, I'm not sure about this muscle I've just put in actually. We'll see. No, it failed. Oh, see you later, dump truck. Although, if I just even it out a bit, I don't think it was even enough. Yeah, if you look now, it's like it's all yellow. Whereas before, one side was more stressed than the other. That's not what you want when you do a muscle. You want both sides to be even. But I think that could work. So let's just speed up and see. Yeah, that looks good. As long as it can support the dump truck as this drives over. We've done it for 72 grand. Over 100 grand under budget. So that means we smashed Tyler, of course. We are 78th in the world. Let's go have a look at the gallery. So cheapest gallery solution, 36 grand. Oh my goodness. What is that mess? <laughs> <laughs> what is even going on? How do you come up with that? It's just rope carnage. So yeah, this next one, what is going on? How is that going to fit underneath? Oh, the, look, they really slowed it down. Ooh, that's clever. That's a very unique way of doing this. The next one by Minecat, really not a lot of road going on. So yeah, that flaps down. I mean, I don't know why it didn't just drop off completely. But that is put... Oh, it does Minecat with the brake. I always forget about the brakes. This one, though, I mean, sort of similar to mine, to be fair. To be fair to me, pretty similar. Just a hell of a lot cheaper. Anyway, the highest budget. <laughs> that, man, what is that? I mean, is this going to be clever? Oh, it's clever. Oh, no. I thought it was an absolute mess, but it's actually clever. So the dump truck gets lowered and then used as a bridge. <laughs> oh, my goodness. By the way, on the left... Hi, RCE. Hi, that man. We've then got Paolo Solution. <laughs> Determined to dethrone Alan. Um, oh, that that does not look right. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but it works. It works. We've then got this. Oh, look at that. That is... Is that like a whale falling down as well? But we have some lovely RCE propaganda suspended in the middle of the arch there. Similar avocado. It's like a spider's sort of webbed my, my propaganda up there. We've then got Nifty with the Nifty Spawn Solution. With so much budget. <laughs> There is so much budget. Look at all the cables they've got going on. Right, oh, speaking of cables, what is even happening? <laughs> I feel like that's someone that brute forced the solution. This one. Oh, no. Cheese dish. They did a loop. Why did they do a loop? So we do a loop. So then we go down and around. Fair play. All right, we've then got Alan's solution. Of, <laughs> of course, the dump truck is carrying an extra load. And then what is going on? What's that on the right? This truck's going to go like straight through. It goes under the bottom and then back around. <laughs> But yeah, turns out there's lots of different ways of doing this level. <laughs> Fair play. Right, just three levels left. So next week's episode could be the last episode of Polybridge. Maybe I'll move on to like a custom custom scenario. I'm pretty sure there isn't another secret level though, thankfully, because these are hard. But we are well on course to complete these under budget and unbreaking. So on that note, I'll say peace, love and bridges. Bye.